What's up? We're Game Devs Play Games. Sup? You're the worst. <laughs> All right, today we're playing one of our favorite games, like legit favorite games for the longest time, Nuclear Throne. We've been playing this game since it first came out in early access. We were sold on it, and we've just been playing it ever since, and... We took a break from it for a little while, and then by the time we've come back to it, it has been officially released. Apparently, yeah. I didn't even realize it, and you were yeah. like, Chris, did you know that Nuclear Throne got released? I was like, what? wait, what? Yeah, a apparently like a month ago. I thought I there was still know. like another year of development. I didn't think they'd ever do that. Yeah, it was. We've seen this game come a f long way, so if at any point either of us are like, oh, it's because we didn't see it before. Yeah, yeah. So, beautiful splash screen. Look at this. This is something, once again, new to us. <laughs> yeah, so much so that Nathan made through a conniption fit. He was like, no, we have to we start the episode on this. this. In here. <laughs> All right, so uh, cool. So our options are play, co-op, setting, stats, quit. Um, just All gonna the normal play. jazz. Yeah, we're just we're just going to play it. All the normal stuff. I did um, play just a little bit, and uh, so I did unlock a character. And we're just going to start this basic fish because uh, crystals for noobs. So <laughs> I like the fish, honestly. I think fish is one of the best starting characters because he's like... He's your good at everything kind of character. He really is. And, and his dodge roll is classic. Right, exactly. And it still is very useful. It's it's doesn't feel as like specialized as some of the other ones, but it means that it really applies to like every uh, every situation. Yes. Um, yeah. And that's why I think he's a really good starting character. And he's still strong even after you unlock some of the other characters. I think he's still fun to go back and play a lot. Oh no. Oh no. Great star. Shut up. You Man. haven't played this game before, right? It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while, even for me. Nope, nope. I remember uh, this, this. I did get the red weapon. Yes. Okay. Wait, there's a red weapon? Well, uh, uh, every every stage it has a red weapon. It does? Yeah. You didn't wait. Know wait. This. What? Okay. So it has what? a red treasure chest all every stage. Oh, and it's just like a weapon. It's it's a it's a weapon. It's Are a there red weapon? That's what I mean. Like the the box is red. But it's not like. A special weapon, or it's not like more powerful, no. necessarily. No, no, no. Uh, there okay. are gold weapons. Uh, are there really? Yeah, uh, oh, okay. but there, there. I think there's usually not much of a difference. Sometimes there's like a, a small, small difference. Like it may mm. hold an extra bullet or something, uh -huh. or okay. that could have greatly changed since I played less. Yeah, uh, who knows? All right, more HP for med kits. So if you get enough rads, you get to level up. This is a rat. Like I'm level two right now. Right. God, this interface is so much more beautiful it than really it used is. to be. <laughs> Uh, push through a limited number of walls. I've never heard of this one before. What? So yeah. you just break a wall? Oh. That's awesome. More speed when all terrain, no damage from explosions, and fire when under hit points. <laughs> That's a very important one to get by like the third stage. Especially Normally for I would probably just go ahead icon. and... Yeah, right? Normally I'd probably actually just pick this up because it's almost mandatory later, but uh, I'm, I have to see what yeah, this dude. does. So... I feel like this is one of those abilities. Whoa! whoa. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! That's. Now, is there any kind Boom. of like counter? I, I can't see any display for how many walls you can break through. Okay, so I guess that's it. Okay, good. And it looks like you kept the, the ability, which means that it probably Just for you can stage. reuse it for each stage. Oh, that is so cool. That's super cool. I wonder if that was one of the abilities that uh, caused the game did break a lot in <laughs> the early stages of that ability. Oh, yeah, I imagine, I imagine it would have. Right, like, if if you were really a dick and you just wanted to, like, break through the end of the stage, you might have been able to do that with that ability. Yeah, it's possible. Which oh, might explain why that one boy. didn't show up until right. later. Although, I feel like that's also such a unique ability that maybe they just, like, didn't think of that ability until... You know, the game had been in development for a while. Sometimes you just gotta be crazy about it. Wow, actually, great job dodging that. There he is. What was his name Big Bandit? Big Bandit. <laughs> I love that. When we neither of us had seen that, that must have been something. No, 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 no. Totally new to Aww, the uh, to the finished version. Ganked. But the first time we saw that little like enemy splash screen like that, we were just like, what? So cool. Um, it is super cool. So we didn't really talk much about design so far. So this game is very, very, very tight in its mechanics. Uh, I think that's part of what makes it so, like... So good. Yeah. It's, it's the thing that set Mario apart from all of its predecessors. Absolutely. It felt tight. 
Yeah, because the level design for Mario was exceptional. Mm -hmm. And while this one, it's not really about the level design, it's more about the game feel. Yeah. Um, and, and I guess it, Mario had a lot of that too, but like, I think it's especially important for this. Absolutely. It, it, it really is. Uh, collision, big thing with it. And they had, they worked on it a lot. These guys put so much work into this, into this game. It's not even funny. Yeah, um, no. And, and it's crazy too, because this game was built in Game Maker, which isn't a bad platform to make games on. It's certainly not my personal preference, but like, this is probably the shining pinnacle of like the best of the best of what can be made out of Game Maker, I think. I, I agree. It's 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 a little surprising, uh, yeah. to be perfectly honest. Cool. <laughs> Question mark. The nuclear throne? Question mark. <gasps> Just reached the nuclear throne. All right. Wait, what? Yeah. So, so like these new characters. If this is if this is the guy that I think it is, I'm gonna be really sad. I my my favorite. Okay, I, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not good at this game. It's, You're not bad though. Uh, yeah, I mean well, that. Well, I mean that. Was terrible. Yeah. I'm, I, but Fish isn't like he's not my character. Um, I love melting though. Okay, so uh, real quick, these characters we have like Fish. He's our starting him and Crystal. Uh, Fish has a dodge roll and gets more ammo. The reason mm -hmm. that Fish I think is just better than Crystal overall is because Crystal's ability can start feeling obsolete over time, but always having more ammo capacity is is always good. Uh, yeah. Especially because you saw how much I was shooting, and I was actually being lenient on my bullets. Um, For the most part. Crystal uh, has more hit points and can shield himself and block projectiles and bounce them back. I mean, he's he's amazing. He's the ultimate tank, really. He re yeah, he really is. I think in co-op, he's basically like one of the best characters to be playing with or That's alongside. Uh, Melting, I just unlocked him a little bit ago. Less HP, more rads, uh, explodes corpses. Basically, he levels up faster, but he has less HP and his awesome ability to explode corpses. Now, so by itself, it's not good, but when you level it up... Oh man, so good. This we haven't really seen what this is. Yeah, I've um, never. We didn't actually. This was not a thing. A skin. Yeah. So I guess you can skin. unlock things for each character, which, at least I assume so, right? Maybe. Maybe those are like special things that are unlocked for every single character. But either way. Oh, each that, one of them has their own special thing. Like okay, so then maybe four question mark. Yeah, this maybe guy loop with every character. Yeah, maybe it is unique per character then, and I think that's awesome. That increases replayability like ten times. Like his is very specific because they're telling you don't use the ones that are optimal for him to pay. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's get into it with melting here. Um, very low hit points. He only has two hit points instead of you know eight. Uh, but whatever. His ability is he can do this. Yup. It's also very good that that doesn't damage you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> die all the time. You can also blow cactuses up with it. I find with that ability, I often kill everything and then remember that I have it. It's just like, well, now there's just a lot of oh, bodies. Look at that. No, 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 no. Oh, they decreased the strength on that. I, I was able to get away from that. That's kind of nice, actually. Because in the earlier iterations of this game, the pull from that little warp pole was... Tense. Yeah, and it, oftentimes it kind of felt like the game was shitting on you since you knew that there was stuff you wanted to get in the stage still, and you yeah. don't know how many enemies there are until it happens. And you're like, I didn't mean to do that, so yeah. you'd like always leave one guy alive. So I think that's they, it was smart that they switched it up like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a really good ability. Um... But I think more HP and ammo drops probably. Although, like, HP actually isn't good for him because it's, like, health kits, and this guy doesn't need health kits. Oh, yeah, So that's in that right. case, either better accuracy or push for walls again. Uh, I think I'm going to go with better ac. I would do accuracy. Let's go better accuracy. More bodies to explode. That, and I feel like it's going to take us a little bit to kind of really figure out how to best utilize the... Uh, you know, charge through walls and thing. I guess it makes sure that you always have kind of like a safety area. Um, but the downside, I think, of that ability is that it's really easy to also destroy your cover. It really, <laughs> yeah, that that's fair. I actually, <laughs> I haven't uh, I haven't thought about that one. But then again, uh, melting is no problem with these guys. Normally, they can be an issue. But what happens is you blow up their spawn point, and then immediately, oh, okay, right. Hey, I think it goes fine. with you. Corpses flying hit harder. Is I love so that. Good it's so him. good for melting. Yeah. Uh, prevents death once and recharges at full HP in the next area. Wow. 
Oh, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. I understand why they don't need to pick that one if you want to get that extra skin. Yeah. Enemies touching you take damage. Worthless. Useless for you. So, boom. Impact wrist. So good. All right. Uh, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I love the art in this game, too. Even the particle effects are fantastic. The little, like, pixely swirls. I wonder if... Got him. I don't know how Game Maker works, but the particle effects, I think, are the thing that I'm the most curious about because they, they shrink, right? So I wonder if they built it so that each size that the particle effects have, like the little smoky swirl, mm -hmm. is like, is that a separate image or is the game engine oh. actually shrinking it? Um, but it seems like it's keeping the pixel ratio still, so then maybe there's like a pixel filter on them. I feel like that's a little overkill though, if that's the case. Uh, I feel like these guys wouldn't have picked something that was overkill on that. Like, they're very, there are two very efficient creative individuals. I yeah. guess is I, th that's my only argument. But then again, I'm not you know adept at art, so I don't really. I, this is the thing too. I think that's one of the few things. Um, oh Jesus! I, yeah, I don't see a lot of particle effects in this game other than the little smoke trails. You know. Oh, I hate. I always hate the sewers. Always hate the sewers. Always hate the sewers. Yeah. Gregarious, you got Gregarious hooked on this, and uh, he's been playing it a lot, and he. The sewers are really where he's been struggling too, just because I think it's so compact. It's really easy to take damage. Just this is where the ability to run through walls, I think, would be most useful. Oh, no joke. There's a lot of little tight corners and stuff. Especially, like, there's the occasional pipe, too, that, like, forces it as a dead end. Which I makes can't it pretty wait tough. to gain a level. And. Oh, yes. So, Crossbow and shotgun. This is so dangerous. Wow, that's a great combo. I am, I am, I'm playing with fire here. So, okay, here's a question for you. As a, for, coming from the perspective of a designer, mm -hmm. why do you think they set it up so that you don't get abilities every stage, but instead you get abilities every stage after gaining a level? Basically, meaning that you know there's always the chance that you won't gain a level and then you don't gain an ability. Well, I mean. Because they do, it's basically, it actually kind of reminds me of uh, their old, or uh, like old RPGs and stuff that would like, very old ones that would have you get the experience, but you couldn't level up until you got back to town. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like doing that safe zone. Uh, and it's, I mean, that's basically what it is, is you're not going to get it until you get to that, to that safe zone. But um, from a design perspective, in a game like this that is fast paced and things are moving around trying to kill you all the time, if I was playing and all of a sudden it was like, level up! Pick an ability. I I would actually I would get pissed. So so then what if it was like there are no levels and you just at the end of a stage you get an ability. Um. So hmm. so my thinking as far as that goes is that maybe it was their way of making sure that you only get so many abilities. So maybe it, you know the later levels requires yeah. more rads. Um, to hit that next tier. And, and so that, it, that is definitely what they do. It does mm -hmm. take longer as the game goes through, especially once you start looping. For the for the record, looping is basically when uh, you, get you to the beat end. the game, yeah. you just loop around again. Now, during early access, there was a guy mm. who looped 99 times. What? We couldn't do it once. What? We couldn't do it once. And some motherfucker, like, so people were like, yeah, I've, I've looped 35. How about you? Oh, I looped 26. And this one guy's like, I did it 99. Is that good? Like, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know how they did it. Or, I mean, granted, the game was, but the, the thing was, the game I felt was harder then. Like, this feels easier to me. Hmm. But then again, maybe that's just because I played it. I don't really know. It even could have something to do with the abilities, too. So, I, I would say that's why, is because actually they'd start to run out of abilities after a while. So, they need hmm. to have a gradual, hmm. you know, like actually a pretty steep curve. Yeah, because otherwise, at the end of the game, you're going to have all the abilities. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, you're probably going to anyway. If, I mean... If you loop enough. If you loop enough, you're going yeah. to, right? So. Man, I wonder how the game would play at that point. That'd be nuts. Well, speaking of abilities, I'll choose mine next episode. Oh, dang. Because I'm excited for this, because I see this guy right here. That's probably what I'm going to choose, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right. Uh, see you guys. Question oh, of the day. Question of the day. I always forget. What would you do in a situation like this where there are stages to the game? Would you? How do you think that character should have those uh, ability upgrades? Like, mm -hmm. when did it, 
you think they should come online? Um, you know, should there be an experience system like there is now? Should you gain it after every level? What would you do? Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the comments. And in the next episode. Because mm. we're going to play more Nuclear Throne. <laughs> Super noodly. It's my noodle dance. <laughs>